Welcome back to Surviving in Alabama on this bright and sunny about 11 o'clock in the morning day. Hope everything is good with y'all. I just want to talk for just a second. This is going to be a quick short video. Can you compost just anything? Well, if you know who David the Good is, go look him up on YouTube, David the Good. Uh, he will tell you that you can absolutely compost anything. However, I have been composting near about anything for a very long time now. And so I'm just about to show you uh, late summer gardening compost, what that looks like and what I just did. Now, we're standing in one of my gardens. I've got two gardens out here and one of them's starting to grow back up. I've got to fix that. But what I did was I pushed all the corn and the peas and all the things that I've that I was growing into a pile just scraped it off with the tractor just eased it off and pulled the weeds up the and the vegetables up and everything that was done for the year into a pile see this pile behind me right here see that pile okay right there <laughs> all right so so what I'm doing is is I'm composting in place Rather than move it to somewhere else, I just pushed it to, I got it in the garden and, and it's really kind of in the center, but I need to move that. But uh, what I ended up doing the, the last couple of days was I processed some chickens. And so if you'll look in the background back there, you will see what, I'm not gonna show you the gore or anything like that. I'm not gonna show you, I'm just giving you a little hint of what I've been doing. See back there? Okay, those are chicken carcasses from when I processed chickens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push them with a tractor into a pile and then I'm gonna cover it over and that will, will really get this compost pile going and all of that will break down. Yeah, there's gonna be a few bones here and there, but it's, it's not gonna be that bad. I will take y'all along. When I get this pushed over, and kind of piled up another time where it looks clean. This will not smell. Hey, if you're worried about the smell, as long as your pile's big enough and you keep it keep turned and covered, it's not gonna stink, it's just not. It's gonna smell earthy. Now, but if I left this, that, if I just left it out, of course it's gonna stink. But when I, but when I cover it over, it's just not. I'm, I'm holding it in, if, uh, so to speak. Okay, let's get to it. It was time to stir this pile anyway. It was green, it was all kinds of green. I pushed it up and look how well it looks now. It's not even been that long. Now look how good this pile looks. Now I've covered up the chickens and, but this pile was as green as can be. It was full of weeds and corn. These were corn stalks and it was a big old garble mess. And it was even, it was so heavy that the, it was hard on the tractor uh, as far as the lift goes. But look at it now, and it's only been just a few weeks. And see this bare ground right here? Eventually, I'm gonna get these peas and plant it. I, I, I've been saying I was gonna do it, and I just hadn't done it yet. But look at this pile. So if you listen to David the Good, he, he man, he does all kinds of stuff. So he actually feeds his plants sometimes with like meat and so that's what I'm doing. I'm feeding the soil with bacteria and nitrogen and nutrients and everything that it needs. And I'm just, instead of just putting a pile here and a there, I'm composting in place. So when this pile is done, I'm just gonna spread it back out and it's gonna be very rich and very good for the plants. So I'm telling you all of this to say that if you are composting in your backyard or, you know, hey, on a large scale, whatever, 
Don't forget about your food scraps because essentially this was scraps, even though it was raw, it's scraps. And any of your food scraps can compost down and then it just takes a little bit of time and a, and a very, very little effort. And you can have good garden soil, good compost for your garden. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. God bless.